Okay, guys. Um, let me just tell you, I just did a henna treatment on my hair. My hair feels... Well, I did a henna and bentonite clay mix. Um, I used, like, maybe half a cup of bentonite clay and then a whole bunch of henna. Um, my hair feels bomb.com. That's not what I came here to talk to you guys about. I got a new blow dryer. It is the Infinity Pro Conair. Bruh. I literally just got out of the box. We're gonna see how this puppy works. I'm excited. <laughs> it comes in a plastic bag. They have some instructions. And this is what it looks like. It has one like long teeth in the middle. Then it has two small ones with some fuzzy stuff on it. It has a cool high and low setting and then it has the off button. Let's go. So here I am just finger detangling with some Kiki Curly Knot today. And I'm using the ORS heat protectant. I'm just putting that all over my strands right now. So before I start blow drying, I am going to split this section into a smaller section. It's just easier that way for me to blow dry my hair since my hair is very thick. So by this time, I'm getting the hang of it you know i'm learning how to use it i was kind of scared of putting the hair dryer close to my scalp just because i felt like i was using a flat iron but there's no heavy heat near my scalp when i do put it close there um, i don't feel any like heat there it's, it's perfectly fine um, i do start taking out smaller sections smaller than what i'm used to when i'm using a regular blow dryer just because the, i felt like the teeth of the blow dryer went through my hair much easier using small sections. My hair is very, very thick, so yeah. So I got the Revlon um, blow dryer. Okay, disclaimer alert. Um, these videos were recorded at least three to four months apart, so I didn't just like blow dry my hair the next day just to record this video. So I don't know. I feel like you guys seen like a billion videos on this blow dryer. I'm not really going to like do a tutorial. It's more so of just my thoughts on it. So this is the finished blow dried hair. Okay, let's get into what I feel about these blow dryers. Cause I'm gonna be comparing two. First, I'm gonna be comparing the Conair Infinity Pro, and then I'm gonna be comparing this to the Revlon Revlon um, paddle brush. Um, officially, the name is. Revlon Pro Collection Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Styler. That's a long word. Okay. Okay, so I wrote everything down for you guys just so I wouldn't like forget anything. Uh, we'll start with the Revlon. I think we'll start with the Revlon. It's a paddle brush um, design. Um, so, it, and then the air only comes out of like the, the top half. So from here up, that's where the air comes and then from here down there's no air or there's no hot air coming out of it. It's pretty loud. This is how it sounds on low. And this is how it sounds on high. Okay, so I'm going to start with the the pros and cons. I think we'll just start with cons first. I just showed you guys how loud it was. I don't think that's a con. Blow dryers are loud anyways. I don't really think that's a con. I just wanted to show you how loud it was. So, so for a, a con for this hair dryer, there's only really one con I would say for this hair dryer is that it gets really, 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 really hot up on this like up on this area. 
um it just gets extremely extremely hot from here it's like from here all the way up it kind of gets hot and then like it just gets so hot my thumb is always like right here you know just kind of like guiding the the brush or whatever and it gets extremely hot and then my thumbs it just gets very it, it, it gets irritated because it's really hot here but that is like the only con I would say for this hair dryer um yeah, that's the only con. Okay, so for the pros, I would say this gets my hair very, 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 very sleek. Like, very sleek and um, just very blown out. Like, kind of like if I went to a salon. The price is $38.77, almost about $40. Um, it's very affordable on Amazon. And I, and I do believe that it's a dollar cheaper on Amazon than if you go to, like, Ulta or... Um, where else did I find it at? Walmart. Walmart and Ulta do carry it, but I believe they have it for $40. Okay, so the cord is very long. Um, I don't know if I can show you. The cord is very, very long. So if you are like, you know, you need like room for, if you need room for your blow drying, whatever, then this would be wise for you. Do not break your hair. I do still have some of the shed hair. Is this weird that I kept the shed hair from the dryer well no because you guys gotta know okay out of my like entire head this this small amount usually when i'm doing my hair or blow drying my hair there's a little bit more um more shed hair that comes out the grip is okay it's easy to grip the the handle is very easy to grip so let's move on to the conair infinity pro I heard about this blow dryer through My Natural Sisters. I believe it was India. She had this um, and it looked really good when she was doing this. So let's start with a con. One thing that I did notice, I don't really think, I'm gonna, I put this as a con, but, but for me personally, it's not a con. Um, it doesn't get as sleek as the Revlon. Um, when I have the Revlon powder brush, it's like, it's, it, it's almost like straight. That's how sleek my hair and blowing out my hair gets. Just be mindful of that. I think for most people that would be a con because you do want your hair very sleek. But like I said, it, it's not like my hair is puffy or anything like that. It's just compa when I compare it to the Revlon, this isn't, doesn't get my hair as sleek and as straight. If you look here with the teeth I would have to clean that the, the teeth are white so any type of oil or anything you use are, are gonna get kind of stuck in between there so just use a q-tip and just kind of and warm water and just take it out and you'll be fine so that but that might be a con but the pros now let's get to the pros okay look at this the teeth you know how like the other like the old blow dryers that we used to use um, they had the attachment and the teeth were just so like First of all, the teeth were so spaced together and then um, it was just very hard. This is so soft. It has like these fuzzy little things here and the the teeth are so soft and they're, and they're big. And that is a huge, huge thing because when you're raking it through your hair, it's not pulling, it's not breaking anything. Out of my entire head when I use this, I only lost this amount. And I don't know, for some of y'all, maybe that's a lot. But for me, this is like, this is, that amount of hair that I've lost is very little compared to what I'm usually used to doing. And you're able to get to your roots. Oh, that's what I didn't talk about. With the Revlon, people have complained. I saw some videos where people were complaining about getting your roots. I will say, a con, another con for Revlon is that it doesn't get your roots as good as this this one with this you kind of have to like kind of keep it there on keep it there and then kind of just do it brush through the roots a couple times on low and then when i feel like they're um you know dry enough then i'll put it to high and do the remainder of my hair that is a huge huge pro for me just like the design the sleek design of it you're able to get your roots without it burning your scalp um, my scalp was never burnt or anything like that it wasn't like you know the experience of getting your hair hot combed or anything like that it's it's 
it's good. The Conair is it has a long core. It has an easy grip. It has a very very nice grip. You're able to hold it. You don't feel like you're slipping. Um, it's it's easy to hold, and I love that about it. Um, but unlike the Revlon, it does not get hot in this area. Everything is cool. So I don't know. Whoosh. Oh, and you guys probably want to hear the sound. Let's low. And then this is it on high. A tad, a, a tad bit lower than the Revlon, so it doesn't make as much noise. So that is also a pro for you if you really care about, you know, how much noise you're making. The price for the Conair um, was $37.94, so a dollar less than the Revlon. If that matters to you, then okay. But they're both um, very affordable products and blow dry blow dryers that you can use. For me, I would say that the Conair um, wins only because it doesn't get as hot. So originally, since I liked the Conair better than the Revlon, I was going to return it. But now that I'm like thinking, I think I might just um, keep the Conair one here at my house at home. And then when I go back to school um, at my apartment, I think I'll keep the Revlon. Like I said, the only huge con for me was how hot it got. But it did what it was supposed to do. So it's like, hmm. Because the sleekness really, I was just so shocked by how straight my hair got. Um, I was just super shocked. It really just depends on you if the heat and how hot the barrel gets. Um, is a deal breaker for you then um, then don't buy it I would say don't buy it if the price it is a dollar more than the Conair if that's a deal breaker for you then don't buy it I'm just telling you my personal opinions on this but the Conair is the winner for me I just it's it's bomb.com there's not gonna be any perfect um, product or device for your hair so there's always going to be something um, that you just don't like. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. I will have all the links to the blow dryers down below. I got them off of Amazon. But like I said, you can get the Revlon one from Ulta or you can get it from um, Walmart. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll be sure to answer them. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay guys, I have a tip to end the video. When you are blow drying your hair, please make sure you're not in a rush or you have to go somewhere after. If you have plans and you plan on blow drying your hair, please give yourself enough time in between to be able to get ready, put your makeup on, do your hair, all of that. Because if you're rushing, your hair will get ripped out. It'll be ripping out strands. Don't do it, don't do it. Love you tip of the day. Okay, my hands are slippery or what? Excuse me.